is your first alert weather with meteorologist Ted Schmidt. We are cruising into the weekend and Ted has all the details we need to know. Things look fantastic today, Jess. Another a really pleasant day this morning. It's a little chilly, I have to admit. I wore my jacket on the weather patio during our morning newscast. Uh, perhaps you were watching this morning when I did that. Uh, it doesn't happen in July very often. More often than not, you're thinking, I need some insect repellent. But they were not out this morning. Uh, they were hiding. It was a little chilly. We're in the 40s. We have beautiful sunshine. That's time lapse from sunrise this morning along Lake Pepin from Lake City with our Louis Donato camera. Watch the high clouds drifting in. Now filtered sun. And now it's not completely overcast, but definitely a thin layer of cirrus clouds creating a filtered sun environment. And as we move along to the rest of the afternoon, it is going to be a little gray and eventually maybe just a little wet. But rain is running in some dry air, so we have some sprinkles or some brief light showers late in the afternoon and evening. But right now, kind of a grayer picture than it certainly was yesterday. We had a high of 72 incidentally on a Thursday. We're almost there already today. Showers are very light in nature, really falling apart with this complex of activity moving in through Algona, uh, Buffalo center down toward uh, Mesa City Lake Mills up toward uh, Fairmont We're looking at the possibility of light rain from this eventually in our early evening time frame ahead of that storm system that's coming in from the west and that as high pressure works its way toward the Great Lakes and we're going to get just a little unsettled here to kick off the weekend temperatures right around 70 not bad though Rochester 70 it's 72 in Winona 69 in Osage Mesa City 67 starting the morning in the 40s though for most of us so we've come a long way from then and we'll tack on a few more degrees even with limited sun 70 right now, uh, just a hint of a breeze in the southwest. Dew point 49, pretty dry air. Now that's key because you have rain running into dry air. We've seen this a lot, and that is Virga. In other words, it evaporates before it reaches the ground. That will happen at first before we get some saturation, maybe better chance of rain in the evening time frame. But ahead of that uh, band of rain, 70 in Rochester, 74 in St. Cloud, where it's been gray and damp, 62 in Sioux Falls, Sioux City, 61. Big difference there. Isolated showers late today and evening. Look for some sunny, seasonable weather. Another 70s, low 80s, upper 70s, low 80s, warmer than the past couple of afternoons have been. Isolated storms next week will have increasingly warmer, more July-like conditions down the road. But here's future track today. Uh, still maybe September-like day. Still not up to the seasonal standard yet, but definitely more summer-like uh, moving forward. Showers isolated in nature as we move in between about 4 and 6 o'clock. Very sparse activity. Most of it concentrated along and south of Interstate 90, but Rochester and Poise Northward may get a brief shower in the evening. That can't completely be ruled out. After midnight, I think it's quiet and then we'll have a little spoke of energy behind that system that may trigger a couple of showers right around five or six tomorrow evening. So slight chance of a brief shower, probably not even measurable at this point uh, in the way of rainfall. And then uh, mild sunshine Sunday. We warm up from the 50s in the morning to right around 80 in the afternoon. Rain chance today very much a low end of the scale, isolated between four and 12 o'clock, a stray shower or isolated shower, you know, very sparse overall though. And then looking at rain chances in the coming days, we have a chance today, very small chance tomorrow afternoon, another chance Monday, and then small chances of isolated showers and thunderstorms Tuesday and Wednesday, and maybe again by next Friday. Rainfall amounts, this is up in the next three or four days, not that much, quarter inch or less. These are very uh, uh, minute uh, little showers in our future. And as the drought can monitor, we talked about this yesterday, Rochester now in, ex in uh, severe drought, out and areas surrounding Rochester and the beige there on the map in moderate drought still. We do definitely need the rain, but we're not going to get much. We'll have chances at least to talk about. 76 today in Rochester, 68 Mason City, and 74 in Owatonna. I look for temperatures to be upper 70s and low 80s, a little warmer than yesterday, but still mild for this time of the year for the most part. Uh, tomorrow, uh, for today, though, look for filtered sun, an isolated shower later on with a light southwest breeze. 76 later today. Uh, 53 tonight. Evening shower is possible, then partly cloudy. And tomorrow, spotty shower in the afternoon. Otherwise, occasional sun and clouds. 77 with the northwest breeze and seven day forecast. After that, we start seeing more 80s than 70s with small doses of shower and thunderstorm chances at least for portions of next week. So things to talk about here, but none of those at this point look to be drought busters and not necessarily severe weather, but there's a, at least a chance of rain to talk about. That'll be something noteworthy anyway. Yeah, we could use more rain. We all yeah. know that. And uh, you were saying Monday's the best pool day. It, well, the warmest on the map. So yeah, that's probably the best day for that. Thanks, Ted. <laughs>